Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Life So Crazy. It's the Vangola Boss here. And I want to touch on some gaming content today, specifically Gotham Knights. Because IGN's doing another IGN first, giving us an in depth look at Gotham Knights. And this game has really been up and down in public reception with a lot of the character reveals they've put out and just the gameplay demos as a whole it's a game which i'm still not completely too sold on and that's unfortunate because as big of a batman fan as i am and how much time i put into the original arkham trilogy still haven't played origins but looking to do so if we get the arkham origins remake remaster on next gen consoles if those rumors are true but as you can see here i've Put a decent amount of play time into these games within the past decade or so and considering we haven't received another batman title aside from telltales but that's a whole different type of batman types gameplay style i've been really looking forward to gotham knights just been disappointed as a whole these past couple of days in the videos ign has posted out want to predict what i think gotham knights may or may not accomplish because it looks like it has potential. I don't think it's justified, especially being the $70 price point that a lot of these games are coming out now nowadays. My gripes with the game standing right now is I still feel the gameplay is a bit stiff. Combat especially because they're not bringing back a counter. Considering all the protagonists trained under Batman and Batman is a world-class martial artist, it's just off to me that the only defensive capabilities a lot of the playable characters in Gotham Knights have is just a simple dodge button. A proper dodge. It just doesn't look fluid. And I think it's when you compare it to the Arkham series where a lot of times it's just you as Batman or whatever character you're playing as standing in more often than not a pretty closed off location and correct me if i'm wrong it sort of felt as if like there was a magnetizing element to the combat in the arkham games where villains sort of had like a lock on on you and if you got good enough at the combat where it um it came really intuitive really smooth the free flow the way they built on that in Arkham Knight was truly what I believe best of all three games. But before I get into more criticisms, I do like to give praise. And although maybe I was spoiled by the photorealistic graphics in Arkham Knight, the graphics in this game do look solid. I do like the environments in the game as a whole is what's being shown here. The detective mode is solid as well. But then the dialogue. Ugh. what they're saying as a whole but the dialogue just seems off not necessarily the voice acting from the vas because that's just something that grows on to you for the most part maybe you might find some some voice acting obnoxious you don't like the way they sound but after 10 15 20 hours of gameplay having been stuck with that same character a lot of times it grows on you at least that is the case for me but a lot of the lines they're saying i just don't know what is the theme that they're going for because when i think of the bat family obviously when you have bruce wayne and batman you're expecting more serious straightforward to the point alpha male <laughs> and having a very serious tone about what is and isn't going on and what he needs to do and the severity of the situation here like even in this clip with batgirl here she's walking down from she's as she's walking through this environment through this university through this lab having a conversation with robin over the mic she's going on record saying she's worried about getting caught by the police huh? of all people so i can only assume that because Batman is allegedly dead in this game that all these all the four protagonists playable characters have had significant training and mentorship under Batman himself so it's just me nitpicking as a whole but it just throws me off thinking like Batgirl who literally is trained under Batman is going into this situation worried about police of all people or managing to get out without the police finding her like we're, we're talking about like literal literal chain literal trained ninjas who in the midst of a conversation if you turn your back on them can disappear in a flash and you're worried about cops please another good point that i've seen so far and this was released today is just the suits the cosmetics which that's going to be a really strong point in the game as a whole 
don't really care much i guess for the rpg stats element maybe if unless it's done good if it's done good i'm all for it. but apart from that it looks really promising with apparently 44 suits 11 per character that they're going to give you access to that you can customize any way you see fit from the colors to some of the attachments they mentioned some details about transmog when you get extra parts to an outfit obviously not letting you mix and match between different type of preset outfits but it looks good as a whole and now my second complaint or my second now my second worry is just the villains where it's not to say as if the criminals of gotham are the most intelligent here but some of these villains about dumb as hell stupid some of the stuff these guys are saying like one dude is caught burning grass talking about fire 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 another's just screaming out the window for what it's it's like there's literal no intelligence with some of the villains in at least the mobs some of the basic grunts that you're going to be taking on in this game hey look up here i'm a professor of setting stuff on fire Smashy, smashy, smash, smash, smashy. Sweet dream. You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever again. The stealth does look good, and I like the variety between being able to have a stealth, <clears throat> um, stealth takedown to an ambush takedown, which is one that causes noise. Knockout smash in the Arkham series wondering how viable the ambush takedowns are going to be because in the arkham series you could use the knockout smash to alert enemies and then set up other traps for them to fall into but that is stuff we're only going to see once the game comes out and i'm going to be comparing it to arkham as a whole even though yes warner bros montreal which they did make arkham origin so they do have some experience i'm not sure if it's the same team but they do have some experience following that formula continuing on it would be wise to not make a clone of course but to copy some of those elements because if it isn't broke don't fix it i want to touch back on the combat as a whole because i personally believe this is going to make or break the game because if you're playing as these dudes like you can't have a superhero game that just doesn't have engaging combat and expected to be to be any good they have variety with villains that throw molotovs at you and then indicators light up showing you where the impact or where the landing of the projectile is going to be enemies with shields which i there's just it just there's something off about it and i i'm trying to figure out the best way i can put it into words for y'all to understand what i'm saying i do like the finishers in the game it looks great in, in fact slow motion is whatever but the animations they have for taking down villains looks amazing overall i know it's early and people can always say that oh give it a chance and all that which i would give some credence to because there are plenty of blockbuster games that have come out in the past couple years that i completely brushed off at first glance and then when i tried them out i loved them and then some also some grace i'm going to give the game is of course whoever is recording whoever is playing the game more often than not they're not the most adept at the combat system the mechanics and controls yet so you're not going to see pro gamer gameplay but even with that being said with the character trailers that the team itself released for us those weren't looking pretty good until the recent robin and batgirl promotional trailers the game comes out in about two months so it's yet to be seen just how well this is going to perform y'all let me know what y'all what y'all thoughts are on this it's honestly just a mixed bag some people are just not for it they're not buying it they're not feeling gotham knights and other people are super excited it just depends which group you fall into maybe i'm just holding on to the past expecting that this was going to be something on par with the arkham series although it's something completely different something that would let you know that basically gotham or the future of batman series as a whole is in good hands considering that rocksteady themselves are now working on the suicide squad game and that's taking a whole completely different turn so the game will be like when it finally does release is be maybe a mid mid game in terms of gameplay story that's the saving grace for it story is good we'll see about that but based on the dialogue 
options these people have wrote into the game i'm just not all the way sure on that i just feel as if it'll be a lot of show but not necessarily substance and that's seen by the customization objects as a whole but it's been the vangola boss if you like the video do me a favor hit that like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time peace